Well, the action and the excitement from the A continues tonight here on EA Sports. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm James Sabalski. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The Bruins take possession to get this one underway. Quick shot! Slides the puck ahead to Goodrow. Here's a shot! And that's blocked from someone in front. Sends it quickly to Olivier. Gains the zone through center. The Bruins take it along the wall. Looks to set up at the point now. And he denied him there. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. They've got numbers, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Hartford's got it in their own zone. Providence is going to hold it against the wall. And a strong effort on that play. Toss up the puck after that hit. Slides it quickly to Pajo. Here's a chance. Denies him. He got all of it. Quick feed to Kirk. Now a quick pass to Carlson. Providence has got the puck along the wall. Oh, he saved him! Oh, my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And as play continues, this place is still present, and they're getting loud here now. Well, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And, man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save, and everyone around you is appreciative. Here he is from the slot. Grabs the puck. Providence has got the puck against the boards. Takes the feed. Phil them swooping in on the attack. Moves into the slot. And he elects to explore his options. What a steal in his own end. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Wolfpack have gained possession off the wall. Quick pass to Pajo. The Bruins gain control of it. Here's a short pass to Jacquezi. Sacrifices the body. Jones plays it now. Into the attacking end. The Bruins have it from their own end. All oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Here comes the call. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping call. Offense is on a face off, and he wins the draw. Here's a shot, and that goes off the face of the goaltender. I don't think he had time to get his head out of the way, and that one hits his mask. You gotta give it to the quality of mask nowadays. If that happened a few years ago, ooh, that would hurt even more. Trying to get it out of the zone here. And they clear the puck from the zone. Well, the PK unit has to be aware of where everyone... Oh, spectacular save right there! Wow! Unbelievable! I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. They are really dialed in here tonight. Gets it out of his own end. They've really got him on their heels here now. Big-time collision there! Moves it along the glass. Moves it around. Makes the save. They are really putting on the heat in the Ozone. Oh, great save right there. When that shot came quick and it was right out front, he had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Power play continues, and they'll look to set up here with this offensive zone draw. Well, they need to take advantage of the moment, not just a power play, but they're up against a fatigued goaltender who is not moving as well in his crease. The Bruins have played from the defensive zone. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Picking up some steam at center ice. Crosby's almost back on the ice. Picked up along the boards by Goodrow. Providence is missing! He scores! Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He dropped it 
perfectly and got himself set to position, James. I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Hartford's done a nice job staying with their game, and it finally pays off here, Cheryl, with a goal. Yeah, when you trust the process and you stay to task, this is exactly what happens. You have good habits, you find a way to get it done, and you execute. Now you got to build on it. you got to find a way to get another one and continue on with consistency. Oh, what a save for the center block! He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Hartford's capitalizing on their offensive abilities here in this first period. The Bruins start with the puck in their own end. Steps across the blue line. The Wolfpack have the puck in their own end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Providence has grabbed a hold of the puck. Hartford's got the puck. Nice speed as center moves up ahead now. Musa took the energy forward. And he had the answer on that play. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Receives the pass. Poked away by Villanova. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. The Wolfpack have possession along the boards. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Sends the feet in front. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. Jacquezzi's picking up steam. Shot. Big time save in the blocker. And he takes the feed. Hartford's crossed the line and on the attack. Puts it on net. Puck scooped up by Smith. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Nothing! Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a prime-time scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Centering feed! And that chance is blocked! Hey, a lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch up Brad back to more. Hartford's got the lead here early in the second period. They have been the more active team offensively. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Providence is trailing in this game because they haven't had any urgency around the puck. They've been chasing the game, and they haven't had any possession time. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Here's a chance! Gives them nothing in front. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Moves it to Goodrow. Over the line they come. Sends it in front, and that doesn't go as it's off the stick. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Knocks the puck loose. From the slot, fires away. And that's blocked in traffic. Poor pass on the play and puck leaves the zone. Looks for breakout options behind his own cage. Taken along the wall by Jones. Quick feed to Harvey Pinard. Takes the puck. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. Through the neutral zone and along the boards. Here they come. The Wolfpack have taken possession in their own end. 
Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Way too much. Congestion blocks that. The Bruins gain possession. Slides it over with pace to Carlson. Moves inside. The Wolfpack have the puck in the defensive zone. Harvey Pinar is taking it from his own end. Scoops up the puck here. Providence is trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Harvey Pinard. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. The Bruins take over on possession. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here's a short pass to Jacuzzi. Turn that chance aside. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. The Bruins are across the line and into the offensive end. The Wolfpack have the puck against the boards. The Bruins take possession on the neutral zone. Quick feed to Kirk. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Goodrow's moving the puck through his own zone. They go on the attack through center. He grabs the puck here at the point. Well past the midway mark of this period. Hartford's up one zip. Pajot's won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. Kirk stick handling in his own zone. Throws it in. Hartford's got the puck along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Takes a shot. Stupendous blocker saved by Soderblom. Hertford's got the puck against the boards. Oh, what a save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Hartford's been just savage in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this second period. They win the draw and go on the attack. Takes the feed. That one misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Well, they'll want to continue with the sustained pressure because the goaltender, he is fatigued. Takes it to the front! Denies him! Providence has got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Yakupov. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Important task for the PKers ahead of them, up by one, and a real opportunity protected. Pachos won the faceoff. Sends the pass over. Moves it to Rikula. Hartford's got him along the wall. Oh, the puck check! What a read by the goaltender! Good check, frees the puck up. Gains the zone. Poked away in the defensive end. Puck slid down the ice. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Whistle stops the play. You're trailing by one and you take a penalty. Not the way to get back in the game. A little more room out there with a little four on four. Four on four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra. And his goaltender's not going to like that one as he scores, putting it into his own net. Shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. Hartford's 
offense teaching us all the valuable lesson that timing is everything, right? Yeah, when you're at the end of a second period and you're heading into intermission, you want to state your claim. You want to make sure you put a stake in the ground and send a clear message that you're here to win this one. And I think they just did that, James. Now they can hit the intermission with some energy, ready to go for the third. Penalty expires and the PP unit gets set to go to work. And that's poked away by Kurt. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. And he comes up with it. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Crosby's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Scores! Coming up, clutch shorthanded. Wow! Well, you gotta love the aggressive nature of this PK unit. They jumped, they attacked him, and they got the puck. They found a way to cash in and convert on the opportunity. It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. The Bruins have new life here late in the second period after that goal. They've been consistent, James, throughout the two periods. And they're nearing the end of the second. They get rewarded for buying into the game plan. They'll need to take the rest between the second and third and find a way to recalculate and drive an attack. Set the tempo in the third. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. From the boards, he takes that pass. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Fans screaming for a shot before the buzzer. Rocked him in the open ice. Well, there's the horn, and that means two periods down. And there's still a critical third to play. Looking forward to this one. Third period action is coming up. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Providence has got to be better in the third period, no question about it. They've got to be more aggressive on the puck, and they've got to attack the lanes when they get the opportunity. They've had very few shots on net, and they're fortunate this is a close game. If they want to get back in it, they got to get into the offensive zone. they got to get net front presence, and they have to shoot at all costs. Suzuki's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Gaining steam here on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Sends it out in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And let's see what the call is. Whoever has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. Hertford's got a hold of the puck now. Great hits up play by the defender. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can score! Number 30 on the season. He's done it. Are you kidding me, James? What a milestone for him. I mean, he doesn't need much time or space. you got to keep your eye on him if you're the opponent because he gets rid of it fast. That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. Hartford sending a quick message here early in this third period with that goal, Cheryl. We are not slowing down. It's not slowing down, and it's entertaining when you provide offense right off the hop. We love to see it, and you know who does it? Their opponent. Puck picked up in the open ice. Good use of the body on the play. The Bruins take it along the wall. Providence has got possession of the puck. Change up, change up. Moves the puck. Great read on the block. From the right side, they gain the zone. Huge steal in his own end. 
scooped up along the wall by Carlson. The Bruins played along the wing. Backhand rims up. Scores! And a quick strike here puts them right back into this one. Well, the game opens up here now, James, as they're within one. And if they can continue this press, they can get the equalizer. You got to believe that they can do it right now as you feel the momentum shift. Providence has got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the O-zone. Sends the pass in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Hartford's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. The Bruins come up with a defensive zone draw. Tries to feed it over to Mete. Across the line along the left wall. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. The Wolfpack have taken possession along the wall. Great read by Carlson. Scores! They can! They saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. Oh, this is definitely a goal that they'll want back, James. I mean, two huge things went wrong. You have a gaping mistake in terms of your coverage and also managing the puck. You gotta do both if you wanna get the puck out of your zone. The Bruins get exactly what they were looking for. A tying goal, and look at this, where we are now in the third. They're back in this game, James. They've shifted the momentum, but it's their urgency. They've been all over the puck. Their first few strides have been hard, and you can tell they want this one. Providence has got a hold of it along the wall. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And now it's grabbed by Jones. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Quick feed to Pasho. Here comes the official's call. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. Suzuki's won a big draw on their own end. Trying to clear. Can't get it out as they tried to play it off the glass. And this is a tough one. You know the coach isn't going to like it. One, they needed a line change. And two, if you get it out, now you can contest the entry. And that's the most difficult place for the PP to get in the zone. And they send it down the ice. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. They get it out of the defensive end. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Denies him in close. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Crosby's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Providence has won the draw. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play.
Well, these below the goal line goals are so difficult to track, James. I mean, when the puck carrier's below the goal line, everyone's turned, puck focus, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer that just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. The Wolfpack have doubled their lead to two goals here in the third. I mean, that's got to feel good. It's been a highly competitive game. Now you've got a two-goal cushion. You don't want to let any life into your opponents. So you've got to shut the door completely now. Shot! Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. And he takes the pass. Here's a short pass to Goodrow. He's been really effective tonight. Looking for the hat trick. Answer the call on that play. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Carlson. All alone! Oh, it just kind of... It's in the back of the net for an old goal! James, how surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck, and he fires it past the tender. Providence's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're going to have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Harvey Pinard's got it on the offensive end. The point blank! Stopped by the goaltender. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. A critical draw here. Hartford's got the win off that draw. Passes ahead from the right side. Feeds it down low. The Bruins have played the puck from behind the net. Here's a blast. Too much congestion in front. The Wolfpack have possession along the boards. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Slides it up front. In all alone on the breakaway. And he easily stops that one. That is a lonely cage at the other end of the ice here, Cheryl. Well, it certainly is, and an extra attacker on the ice. Possession is critical. Got to win this faceoff. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. He scores! And there's the hat trick in Lindo Chapeau's fly! Anytime you get a hat trick, it's a special moment for a player and athlete here, James. But to do it at home and have all of those caps fly out on the ice, it's a pretty special one. That's a strong effort all the way around. Stingy defensively at the end of the game, and they're able to get that empty netter. And in the dying minutes here, James, it should seal the deal. The Wolfpack have pretty much sealed the deal on this one with that empty netter. Now you put it in the empty 4x6, you can almost self-guarantee yourself the win, barring a massive hiccup. Dishes it to Pajo. Moves it to the middle. And that's off target. Yeah, rest don't like that. There's the whistle as the net comes off. Hartford's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Pajo has won the draw. And he takes a shot. And the fans on their feet recognize. Time 
Yeah, he got himself in good position, didn't he? He's a pure goal scorer, and he didn't disappoint tonight. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski saying peace.